what you need. That's the radio, you jerk. Get that hey, man. Ah. I'm not that good. I got you, man. You're supposed to know how to do this. Yeah, I appreciate you giving me a place to put this. Surprise birthday gifts for Johnny B. There's a lot of stuff. Hey, what's with your hands? I had to work on the car. What's with your hair? I straightened it. I tried to teach you to dress. Can't take them nowhere. <laughs> I'm gonna go wash up. Whose car? Mine. You're 14. 15. This August. Hop in. See how it feels. Manny, did you steal this car? No, nah, we didn't steal it. I thought it's fun. Oh, a lot of fun. Hey, man, don't you got a life? Nah, Nikki, I want yours. Come on, help me out. Yeah. So, uh, where'd you guys get all this stuff? Uh, a friend of mine. Uh, he was having a going out of business sale. Who do you know that got a business? Johnny B. Wait a sec, something ain't kosher. I thought you said you got these for Johnny B. Yeah, well, uh, he's starting a new business. Uh, a TV store. And this guy I know was uh, moving some TVs and stuff, so I'm helping Johnny out. Great country. Johnny's 16. Yeah, he's got big plans. Listen, uh, I gotta go. Come on. Um, we'll be back tomorrow to get them. Uh, what time? Before your parents get back from Florida. Hold on a second. I almost forgot. I got you something. You're so sweet. I can't. I mean, I can't accept something you stole. I stole? I, I made this money delivering papers. Who are you bullshitting? Take a walk on up here? Yeah, why not? Listen, man, this is my last one. Really? I'm gonna make enough on this. I can open up a whole house. X miles when you're making all my money, you know? You'd be good at that. You come in with me if you want to. I got enough problems with one woman. You check this out? Yeah. It's just a bunch of old rich fucks. Be in and out, real easy. It's a lot of ice. A lot of jewels, a lot of wealthy motherfuckers in there. Come on, good girl. 
Bring it on. Let's go. Walk with me, sweetie. So long, Nikki. Sorry, bro. Had to happen. Bunch of whining weasels. Get in there! Get in! Move it! Let's go! Play a room for everybody! Manny's gonna have to face me, all right? And then it'll be fine. If you spend eight and a half years in the can, you'd understand. My favorite Nikki story is right before you went to the joint there, stole this car right in Queens there, right in Long Island City. Remember that, that, that pimp's car? Remember that pink Cadillac? A long time ago. Uh, maybe we should go to the bar and have a drink there. Yeah, too bad. You know something? These people came to see you tonight. What's wrong with you, huh? Snap out of it. Hi. Sit. Show me what's sit there. So, Nick. Not having very much fun, huh? Nah, everybody thinks I left my personality somewhere else. Where would that be? Upstate. So, uh... Do you have anyone special? Yeah. Where is she? I don't know. Johnny knows. He knows where they are. Why don't you get her? Well, it's been a long time, so people go places. Well, do you love her? Then it wouldn't be bad for you. Well, get on it. I will. Let it go. It's out of the question. Forget about Maria.
this. There are three bridges here, all within a mile. And you want to go to Los Angeles to find a girl. Los Angeles? Hypothetically. So, no, I'm saying that's where they're at. Hypothetically. No, you said Los Angeles. Couldn't be too hard to find somebody named Araji on Los Angeles. Sheets down, leave them outside the room. We don't make the bed. Yeah, no faccio le cose. Shut up! Hey! You make the bed. That's it. Hey, how you doing? Are you uh, Nick Vincent? Do uh, do you have any uh, uh, allergies or epileptic or anything like that? No, I don't use a Oh yeah, all you convicts are. Last guy I had in here had seizures. He chewed the shit out of my wallet. Okay, all right. Oh, make like you're a nice guy. Yeah, I know where the fuck you came from. What the fuck you standing around for? Go in the back and talk to one of the coolies over there and punch in. Punch in, because I don't pay no six dollars an hour until you punch in. Silly shirts. Uh -uh. No, be pretty silly, wouldn't it? Yeah. Daddy. Yeah, baby. How come you're never at home? Did I do something wrong? No, baby. No, 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 no. Mommy and I still love each other. We just need a vacation. We can't live together right now. Do you know what I think about every moment of every day? What? You. Me? Yeah. You know I love you, right? Yeah. Okay, come here. It's all okay. What's that man doing to his doggy, Daddy? What man, baby? Over there. No, come here. Baby, I want you to wait here for me, okay? I'm gonna go talk to him, okay? Just stay right here for one second. Okay, stop. Sit there. Just sit. Sit. Right? God. Come on, just relax. Talk. What the hell did you do? I did the rack. Something on the rack in the back. Yeah. I mean, you did the rack. What do you think? What are you going to do now? Get some workman's comp on me or some kind of bullshit like that? No, just give me a Band-Aid. I'm getting a fucking Band-Aid. Get your hands off me. You're all a fucking you like this. scumbag motherfucker. Fuck you, prick. Look at the dog. Go 
inside. What's the matter? Eight o'clock. This Eight is said eight o'clock. I told you to be. Go inside, Ellie, please. What are you doing? It's at five o'clock. It's eight o'clock. It is late. What do you mean? You did not call me. I asked you to do that. You are smoking. I'm sorry. You are drinking. All right, it's gone. That's it. Let me just say goodbye. Is... Let me say goodbye. That's it. Allie, Allie, Allie. I'll say it. I'll say it for you, all right? That's it. Maria, Maria. Maria. Jesus. What am I going to do with you, huh? What am I supposed to do with you? Join the lot. This guy takes care of you, obviously. Yeah, man. Very cool people. I told you. Hey, man, what's up? See, I can never get a hookup like this. Ain't nobody ever trust me. It's all who you know. Uh -huh. Hey, what's up, Harry? That's my pal Nick from the pen, man. How you doing, Perry? How you doing, man? Yeah, he saved my ass a couple of times. Get right back with you. Is that right? Uh, you know, I've been trying to get a real job, you know, and that didn't work out, so I better go back to doing what I'm uh, good at. I feel you, man. Came over to see King, told me you're the guy to see. My homeboy says you're all right. You must be all right. No, I'm ready to do what I gotta do. I heard that. You got something for me? Oh, yeah, let me see for a minute. Yeah, we all right. Okay. Let's do this. Come on, be right back, yo. Okay, hold on. Here we go. Nice place. I like it. Thank you, man. You need something to drink? Nah, I already got one bad habit. Find a ship before it's lost. You from New York? <laughs> yeah, where are you from? Buffalo. How do you like those, man? These are nice. I like this stuff. Good well, stuff. You want, baby. It's on the house. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. You got that, man. Money's tight right now. Some nice pieces. Some nice stuff. Clumsy motherfucker. <laughs> you kind of jumpy, ain't you? Well, you know, it's been a while. Yeah, I know it's been a while. You've been out of the game, too. Things done changed around here, man. You gotta do what the natives do. Just shut your mouth and watch your back, just like being in a pen. That's true, man. You know where to put it. Right, right here. <laughs> I, I like this guy. He's bigger than you. What are you feeding him? <laughs> Hopefully, he won't read about me in the paper. God, it's so big. It's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Good taste. That is. <laughs> it's so big. Oh my god. Are you a rapper or a criminal? Not living minimum. Labels want to burn me. So a lot of rappers turn to the street. We're not all cheap. Stop beating. No record plays. Back to the old days and old ways. To a hustle back around like a belt buckle. Yo, it's a struggle for a dealer who can't shuffle. I throw the three up. Plus, I'm going to be a little bit of a man on the hill. I mean, I know. No more being social, going on for social stores or in stores, this is what an exceed indoors, back on the block breaking laws, you was just up in the sky with the stars, thinking about Alexis, now you getting restless, cut off from the guest list, now manifest this and test this. I don't have a minute, oh sure, yeah, I'll be right back, thanks, may I show you something sir, don't worry, I'll take care of you, okay, you can just, well thank you, we're gonna think about it. I'll take your business card. Thank you. Thank you for your time. I'm looking for a ring, you know, something not too much. You know, just just enough. And what price range were you thinking of? I don't know, about 250, 400, something like that. Dollars? Yeah. I'm sorry, sir. We, we don't have anything under $2,000 here. $2,000? Yeah, I'm afraid that's what they start at. Nothing on sale or anything? You know what, I think you'd be happier shopping somewhere else. I, I'm, I really don't think that we have what you're looking for. Oh, so you're trying to say you don't think I got that kind of money, right? No, you, you told me your price range and I'm telling you... I heard uh, you pretty clear, so nothing's on sale. That's what you're telling me. <laughs> no, I'm afraid not. Yeah, I think everything's on sale today. How about you, huh? What do you think? Whatever you say. Mm, that's right. Why don't you back up a little bit, right? Now remember, this is nothing personal. This is just money.
Let's see, what do you got? Why don't you tell me, all right? Let's take a look. Good quality. How hot is it? I very recommend this place. You're not the only place in town, right? Relax, Brooklyn. This is L.A. I had to ask. What's wrong? Not happy to see me? I oh, didn't say that. I mean, you don't have to. Uh, it's, it's all over your face. Oh, well, it's just so out of the blue. You used to like surprises. Oh, not anymore. I got a job, I go to school. I've got my own life. So when they let you out? About three months ago. What brings you to L.A.? Business. Same old business? No, no, no. Nothing like that, you know. Maybe it's time I, uh, I grew up. No, I'm, I've always been pretty savvy, you know, good with words. Uh, now I'm making good use of it. How? Real estate. <laughs> what? I say something funny. Nikki, who are you kidding? I got, I got you some flowers. Oh, thank you. What happened to your hand? Just a little accident, nothing really. Come inside. It's okay? Yeah. All right. Come on. All right. No, I started out just like my good apartment. You know, buying and selling dumps mostly. Allie? Come here, sweetheart. I want you to meet a friend of mine. This is my friend, Nick. Nick, this is Allie. Hello. Hello. So what brings you here? I don't know anybody else, and I figured maybe... So you thought maybe you'd ride the couch until you get yourself together? Look, you know, if, if you got somebody coming around or something, and you could just tell them I'm family. You're not. And no one comes around. I said I was busy. You know, I mean... I mean, I was just saying, you know... I mean, if you want, I'll just... Nikki, <laughs> don't be working me. If you want to ride on the couch, that's okay, but just a couple of nights, all right? Yeah, I mean, you know, I was just, I was just saying, you know. Deal? Yeah, sure. Excuse me, Mom? Mm-hmm? Can we talk? Yeah, you can. Private? Yes. Yeah, why don't you guys go do that, and I'll just, I'll be right over here, you know. Okay, why don't you put these in the water? Oh, okay. Now, Mom, correct me if I'm wrong. Two is a couple, three is a few, and five is a bunch, which might as well be a week. You said we make all decisions together. Well, I was going to tell you, Mom, honey. Mom, please, let me finish. You said it was me and you, you and me, together, alone, no one else. It's you and I, honey. Mom, whatever, okay? Now, I love Daddy, but he had to leave us because he didn't deserve to be with us, right? Right, but honey, Nick's an old friend, and he's nothing like Daddy at all. Mom, All right, please. well, maybe just a little. But you know something? He needs our help, and I can't turn him away. So it'll just be for a couple of days, okay? Promise? Promise. I cross my heart and hope to die. Triple promise? But I got my legs crossed. <laughs> <laughs> promise? I promise. I promise. I, okay. I, I promise. I'm still up again. Nikki? Thank you. Here we go. Okay. God bless our table. Amen. God bless our table. Amen. This is really good. Thanks. Well, Ross is at home meal. You got more on you than any there, Al. It's Allie. It's short for Allison. 
Really? So, Ali, how old are you? She's shy, Nikki, especially with strangers. It makes perfect sense. I mean, she doesn't know me. I don't know her. Believe me, I grow on you like a fungus. Excuse me, I'm eating. Let me introduce myself. Harry Coslow. Nick Vincent. I'm an old friend from back east. Sounds like Brooklyn. That's pretty good. He's a friend of Mommy's. She says he's a little crazy, but he's going to stay with us for a couple of days. Everybody's crazy, honey. Even me. Not you. Sorry, I can't help it. <laughs> Nikki, no smoking in the house. Harry, will you take Allie to the uh, pool, please? Good morning, Maria. I'm sorry. Good morning. Mm. Okay. Come on. Let's go outside and play at the Long Ranger. I'll be telling. Thank you, Harry. Then I'll make us some breakfast. Nice meeting you, Nick. Join us if you want. What was that all about? Harry? Yeah. Oh, he lives in the building. He cooks. He babysits. You know, he's like family. I can't believe I'm even answering this. You know, get dressed, please. I was, I was just saying. I, I, you know, I was just saying. Oh, got back. She was gone. I talked to her mom, said she got married. Moved to L.A., had a kid. I couldn't believe it. People move on. Everybody's got to have a life. Absolutely. But, you know, she was crazy about me. I mean, uh, I, uh, you know, I heard they broke up. I, I wonder what took them so long. First time in L.A.? I'm a warm weather guy. You got a little thing, a little population over here, Harry. What brought you out here? Real estate. Speculation. You know, find a piece of property, buy it cheap, fix it up, place to hang my hat, and then sell it and uh, make a couple bucks. You know, just keep rolling it over. See what I'm saying? I knew you'd get it. Yeah. Oh! Right there! You got it, pal. Hey, hey, get out of the car, man. Hey, man. Hey, get out of there, man. Oh, hey, get out of there. Hey, come on! Well, 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 well. Life's little surprises. What have we here? Something brand new for you, Pops. Sure. How much? You tell me. You're the boss. Come on in and let's talk, buddy. Sure. You know, I can almost start to like you. She's beautiful. Pretty nice, huh? Nikki, what's going on here? Nothing, man. I want the kid a present. Let me stand the couch and everything. And, uh, She's beautiful, Mom. It's the big deal. Why don't you guys go get dressed? Come on, I'll take you all out to a sporty mail somewhere. Ah, uh, yeah. It's, crazy. it's my night off, and you know Harry's coming over, and I'm tired. So, bring him along. I'll throw a few ZDs down the old man's throat. Uh, Nick, uh... Mind if I call you Nick? No, go right ahead. I'm just curious about this deal you closed recently. Just a small piece of speculation, you know? I risk, I yield. Really? What kind? Interest payments. Hmm. Well, that's pretty good for one day. Guy and all had some bonds, and I got lucky, you know? Interest rates are low. Bonds are valuable. You know what I mean? Great country. Hey, Maria, did I tell you how good you look tonight? I mean, really. You really look good, you know what I mean? Hey, psst. Oh, jeez. Mark myself. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Allie, you want to go to the ladies' room? Excuse us. Got to do the getting Ladies? I've been thinking. What have you been thinking? He's not that bad. I mean, he likes you. And I think he likes me, too. 
Do the presents have anything to do with it? No, 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 not at all. I'm just saying, well, if he needs to stay with us for a couple more days, I myself think it would be fine. You got this all figured out? Well, you know, I'm just saying. Oh, I mean, you were just saying, I know. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't have to stay with us. I mean, only if he needs to. I'd like to get him Maria a house, you know, as a gift. You could put up half. That's really nice of you spending my money for me, Dad. Well, your half would be an investment. You and Maria, equal partners. That's if you're serious. You know, you're too young. You'll find your own way. And property tax is less than our current rent. So if you're serious, it could be a real family, Nick. Hey, I'm just as serious as a nice guy. I'd like to hear that. Hey, don't worry about the bill or nothing, all right? I'll take care of it. I got it like that. How's oh. that look? You're a gentleman. Vicky Vincent, look at him, all dressed up. I guarantee every nickel in his pocket came out of somebody else's. There you go. Hey, I don't get it. What are we doing here? We have no probable cause. The only thing that's gonna happen is you're gonna get both of our nuts caught in a vice. Hey, look, I got some police business to do, so let's get out of here. I'm in this car with you, too. Police business is my business. You don't give a damn about anybody. Not really. All right, that's all well and good. You want to tell me where we're going now? Police business. I hope you're not taking me to that bar again. No. You son of a bitch. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. I'm just going to stop in real quick, all right, bro? Really quick. <laughs> That's right here. Officer Green. How you doing? Always hanging out with some hoe, huh? That's not cool, man. Got my money? Business is dry. Zeke. And you know what you do? You stick this hoe out in the street. Ten bucks a blowjob. Got my money. Shut the fuck up. Tell her to shut up. Shut up. Shut up. You know what you are? You're a white nigga. There is nothing worse than a white nigga. You know that? That's what you are. A white fucking nigga. Now, when are you gonna have my money? You can't keep shaking me, Manny. I gotta be telling my suppliers I'd be getting robbed. No. You have my money two fucking weeks. Or I'm gonna kill you. Two weeks ain't enough. Man. Have somebody in two weeks. I need one month. Alright? Leave me alone. One month. Fucking two weeks. Not fucking good enough! Motherfucker! No smoking. Well, you own the joint. Matter of fact, I do. Yeah, you happy now? Let me ask you a question. You're gonna desert her like you did before? It's a long time ago. I don't think it's any of your business. If it concerns that girl and her daughter, it is my business. She told me everything. I think about it all the time. Sometimes innocent people get in the way of a few dumb moves. See what I mean? You interested in a business venture? What do you think? Well, I think that I'm not going to live forever, and uh, my family's been going a long time. And I'd like to leave something to someone. So what's that got to do with me? Don't be stupid. I'm talking about cleaning you up. It wouldn't kill you. I don't need no help from you or anybody else. I need you to raise some venture capital. How much? 150 thou, give or take. You can handle that, can't you? You're a big time wheeler dealer. I can make a few moves. I'll be waiting. Don't keep me waiting long. Driver seems to be working under the hood. Got a car. 
Sorry, I'm late, man. I had you run for the border. Right there, fucko. Come on. Whoa, 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 back whoa, whoa, it up. Man, come on, Get in the man, back. Just, just be quiet, all right? Now hold this one. Man, oh. is going to start uh, falling out. From what we can understand, about 15 minutes ago, a tow truck backed up to an ATM on the other side Robin, of the building you know, and ripped the ATM It's all different now. Not a, not a go after ATM machines. And, not like it used to be. I've got a great side if he bails on you. I'll be able to light it up for you. Jesus. G-17 Adams continuing to follow the tow truck. Kid. Don't you got a life? Jesus <laughs> Christ. Go ahead. Go. 
Come with me. Come on. They're here. Are you Bonds, kid? You know, next time, try using the inside of your head instead of the outside. This is how I come up on my end. All right? Minus that back. It's just part of the part of the territory. It's a bit risky. How about kissing my ass? All right, take it easy. Drink? Don't drink. No drugs, just money. Fine. Yeah. Take it easy. You got the Roscoe, for Christ's sakes. You know, I never worked so hard for my tank. I figured the highway was for dummies. When I pulled the job, I used my head. I never got a scrap. Are you some old time comment? What are you surprised for? You think you invented larceny? It happened long before your time. You already got 20,000. Wasn't a bad night's work. You were after 150. So I'll go out again. I mean, what the fuck? Kid, would you put a cork in it? You know, you're a decent looking guy, Nick, but you open your mouth, you sound like crap. Now, you want to work with me? Watch your language. Show some respect. We're going to work together, you and me, Pops. <laughs> the way you conduct business, somebody's going to put a hole in your head. And then we'll be able to spend a nickel with us. You know a better way? <clears throat> yeah. I got a few of my starters. I could pull the same job with half the risk, twice the stake. Sound good, tough guy? Careful, guys. It's a friend. Appreciate it, address. If anything goes wrong, you don't know me. Take care, pal. Where's it going now? <laughs> Look at these two. You see that fat bag she got? I mean, Jesus Christ, we should camp out here all night long. I'm just right. Nobody. Well, this guy. Hold it in. Thank you very much, buddy. This is beautiful. I could have been doing this for years. Look at these two. Take it easy, kid. Don't be greedy. All right. Got my back? All the time. Come on, get the lower. Oh, Got shit. It. <laughs> it's a little heavy. Oh, this is nice. This is sweet. for the dry cleaning. How long have you been out of the game? This thing like this every other week? For about a year or so? Shit, man. Let me warn you about that language. Now calm yourself, Nicholas. Our idea is to hit and relax. Uh, the gentleman band has come from a long list of guys. And every 20 years, somebody comes along. Like yourself. Some guy taught me, and I'm passing it on to you. There's no joke. And not one of those guys ever did a day in jail. You act like a working man, you spend like a working man. No flash, no glitz. Don't call attention to yourself. You can't have no fun with the money. Might as well leave it where it was. You go legit. You know, every big business in the United States started a little bit of larceny. The real smart guys go legit. Can you live with that? Shops I've been wanting to take you to right here, huh? Yeah, look at you. Anything you say. We're gonna carry Grant. Not bad. Ah, uh -huh. look at that. That style. See that? Look at those shoes. Give me two nice. pairs. You gotta, you gotta dress right. You dress right. People accept you more, you know? See this safe here? We used to come in with a stethoscope. We worked on it for about two or three hours, popped it open like a cracker box. I like my way better. Willie the actor Sutton. Spent half his life in jail. I never served a day. Works for me. Sign here, but, but would you just print your name right over here? Okay. Thank you. Are you a native? Yeah. yeah. Uh, you could say that up from back east. 
No, I meant of California. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. I, no, I, I do it myself, but as, as I said, I'm easily confused. I understand perfectly. I hate to be a bother with this. Not at all. All right. I keep banker's hours. <laughs> you know? You're a very nice Looking man. Looking at that watch. You remind me of my son. No. Nick. Yeah. I don't... Uh... He's also a banker. Eight minutes, 42 seconds. How many cameras you see? Four. There were five. Where was the fifth one? Behind the fourth. It was up your ass, you'd see it. Guess so. Hey, what are you, crazy, Harry? This kid is, is raw. He's a mess. You know, my father used to say, you can't polish a turd. Your father's a philosopher? No, he was a turd. All right, so he's got a haircut, he's got clothes. The grooming is easy, but you can still smell Brooklyn. It's in his walk, yeah. his attitude. Paul, yeah. Paul, I got eyes, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, well then, put him to work and look at your protege. Come on, you gotta work with me, Paul. Yeah, Paulie. I'll work with you. Hey, don't kick the car, for God's sake! Jesus Christ. I can't believe this. Biggest scar in my whole life. I'm sitting here, surrounded in plastic and velour. This is ugly. I can't stand it. I feel like a real cantaloupe. Exactly. No self-respecting crook would drive one of these. What? What's the matter? I'm in a state of confusion because he changed cars. So he's a smart guy. What do you want? You know what? He's trying to fuck my woman. That's all I care about. Your woman? Excuse me if I'm wrong, pal, but uh, didn't she throw you out? That makes a difference. Well, wasn't she his girl first? What the fuck is your point? My point is, you want to get us the hell out of here before we get caught outside the division? Oh, you worried about the division? Yeah, I'm worried about the okay, division. Well, it's my, it's fucking my fucking hell job. Hell, it's all my fucking division, all right? <laughs> you know, you're a fucking son of a bitch. You want to get thrown off the forest, go right ahead. Just leave me out of it. You ready? Bring it on. And remember, when you walk in, you make a decision. If it feels right, you go for it like you own it. You got three minutes to load in the cash. Everything else, a minute and a half. Begin. Go inside, check it out, move to the right, Vaseline, camera one, bang. 12 seconds. Watch out, Vaseline, camera two, bang. 22 seconds. Walk across the room, smile at the nice secretary. Go, honey. Good afternoon, Paul. Phil Cummings. Sorry. Merry Christmas to you. And a Merry Christmas to you. How can I help you? I'd like to make a small withdrawal. Ah, from an account here at the bank? No, from the carts in your office. Huh? Show them the scanner and the gun. Three minutes. Ah, don't hit the button. If you hit the button, I'll hear the call. And if I hear the call, I'll have to shoot some innocent person in the bank. A white one. Okay, let's go. I never stop smiling, 40 seconds. To the bank manager's office. Walk, 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 to the trays. You load it, no funny money. If he stalls, you do it. Let's go. You know, there's a new line of work for me. I don't think it's gonna work out pretty good. <laughs> Drop it right in. Now, if anybody asks, you're going to get a cup of coffee with your cousin Bob, okay? Yeah, your cousin Bob. What, what are you going to do with me? You're not going to hurt me, are you? Why would I hurt you? We're pals. Now, you have a very nice day today, okay? And I'll see you again real soon. Five minutes too long. I was out of there in four. You're having a whole conversation with the guy, for Christ's sakes. What are you going to do, take him out to lunch? I mean, these guys remember every pore in your face, you know? Why should I be nasty to the hand that feeds me? What's with the gloves? We got this. You talk too much. Come on. I'm friendly. Why do you want to kill it for me? I was telling you, it was like Christmas I never had. You should have seen it. I was in, and I was out. I mean, it was great. I loved it. I'm telling you, it was beautiful. You should have seen it. But I never knew if that people knew how easy it was to do this. Stand back. Keep a Stand back. back. I'm going to... What the hell is that? If you stopped talking for a second, you would have seen it. Forget about all of this stuff, you know what I mean? This is between you and me. This is, this is a short-term business. We're in, we're out. 
What are we going to do with this? Uh, you, can, you can't use it, that's for sure. You can't wash it off with a little something? It's indelible. It's mock money. We got to get this stuff out of here, for Christ's sake. Flush it down the toilet. Take it easy. Don't fall in here. This is good. All right, this is good. You made it on that one. It happened about 11.30 this morning here at the First Professional Bank. A man described as being about 30 years old with a medium build walked into this bank and demanded money from the bank's manager. All the witnesses here told me that the man had a very distinguishing feature. He had a Band-Aid across the bridge of his nose. And the take, estimated to be $231,000 and nine cents. We only got 100,000. The bank manager must have taken the rest. Now that we know Phil is one of us, we can always hit him again. That's the beauty of the FDIC. Hey, hello, princess. Wow, you guys look like movie stars. Well, you never know, we just might be. Oh. Guess what I've got in this bag for a little girl just happens to be named Allie. A doll! A makeup kit! Christmas, right? I didn't know what to buy, so I just figured I'd buy everything. Is that okay? What's the face? What's the big just, deal? Just please close the door. Can we talk, please? Was this a secret? Yes, I don't want anybody here. Don't want to have to question everything I say. I was just saying. I didn't say anything. I didn't want to talk with you. What? What did I do? A little bit too much, a little bit too soon. Got to slow it down, okay? What do you mean? I'm a responsible adult. I have a good job. I may even get a promotion. And all of a sudden, you come into town, you bear and gifts, you throw money around. People know that I can't afford this. Okay? So I'll get these things, but in my own time and my own way. Okay? Can you do that for me, please? Come on, I walk by a store, I see a thing, it's 20 bucks. I mean, what the heck? I can't spend 20 bucks on a beautiful kid like that. But I but promise, in like two, three weeks from now, I'll have a lot more money. I'll get her like the better stuff. It's all fun. Where's it coming from? I know you're up to something not legal. You know, that is really not fair. Because if you didn't know me, you wouldn't even think like that. That's not fair. Harry put me onto some very, very nice people, legitimate businessmen, okay? We made a couple of deals, made a couple of dollars, and if I just so happen to walk by a store and see something, then I give it to the kid. What's the big deal? What happens when she gets attached to you? And, you know, she's, she needs a dad, just like anybody else. Mickey, I know this is a lot of fun for you. But sooner or later, you're going to be out, and then I'm left. You know what I mean? Hey, look, you know, uh, you know, I, I, I figured, you know, I come out here, I find you, you know, I, I try to do the right thing, you know? I, I didn't come out here for the people or the weather. You know, I came out here for you. But I'm going to go smoke a cigarette, okay? And that's where I'm going. Hey. It's not it. Ah. <sighs> Wrap this one. This for me. What's wrong with that? Stay out of here. Look, give him a break, will you? I mean, he's trying real hard, you know. I know you cared for him once, and he's crazy about you. He talks about you all the time. Give him a chance, will you? He's... If it doesn't work out, then it doesn't. But if it does. You know, life's too short to go through it alone. Believe me, Maria. I know. I'll think about it, Harry. You sure about her? Because I'm in there lying my ass off, and I'm not charging by the hour. So I hope you intend to be right by her. Trying to make things right between me and her? What's in it for you? I'm a hopeless romantic. And I guess to see a little bit of me and you. Guess I better work on myself, huh? <laughs> exactly, you know. The way I see it, we got two ways of going. And you do what I tell you. Either way, you make cash. Number one, you take off, you never come back. Number two, make a ton of money, settle in, share your end with her. And when I kick off, you two both can have my end. I love her, Harry. 
but I don't know if she wants me. Or even needs me. Don't worry about her. I've been on this plan a long time, and I still don't understand women. Just listen to me, will you? She'll come around. Think so? Sure. Okay. Sweetie, sit back. Your mom's gonna kill me. Why are you so quiet today? I've been thinking. Oh, really? Well, if you and Mommy like each other so much, why don't you two get married? And, well, you could be my new dad. You got it all figured out, don't you? You love my mom, right? Honey, I've never loved anybody but your mom. That's the truth. Cross my heart. Hope to die. My mom says she knows you from back when she was a kid. I made a lot of mistakes with your mom, but I promise you, it'll never happen again, okay? I'll have my eye on you. Oh, really? This is good. You think so? So you think I got a shot with your mom? She said, you're a little bit like, like maybe my dad. Nothing at all like your dad. That's what she said at first. And then I got it out of her. I think she likes you. Only if you're going to be staying around all the time. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to stay right here. More strawberry? You. Yes, I'd like to make a small withdrawal. Hi, sir. How can I help you? I'd like to uh, make a small withdrawal. We are a full-service financial institution, and we're delighted that you like to open an account with us. Well, I'd rather skip opening an account and just go for the straight withdrawal. Okay. From what account? From the trays in your office. From the trays in your office. From the carts in your office. Another bank robbery, again by the man described as a perfect gentleman, the so-called Gentlemen, bandit strikes again. Let me get this straight. You don't have an account here? No, I don't. But you're going to take me into your office, and you're going to put the money in my briefcase, and then I will put a hole in your head. The string of bank robberies continues. This is a joke, right? This, this is great. Tim, Tim from Long put you up for this, didn't he? You know what? I'm just going to put an end to it. Why don't you not do that? Uh, now, that, that's a gun. Please don't do this to me. I have to. Pendant les fêtes de Noël à Beverly Hills. Et paraît-il que son seul déguisement consiste d'un bandage sur le nez. Comique, non? Uh, uh, uh. Don't hit the button. Don't do that. So what you're saying is if I do this, you're not going to hurt me? If you hit the button, I'll hear the call. And if I hear the call, you'll have a hole in your head. Come on, kid. Nice and easy. Okay. Okay? So stop crying. We're just going to go in the office. Some money, and then I'm gonna let you go. We've got another one of those bank robberies by the alleged gentleman bandit. Let's go to the vault. Okay, pal? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Police aren't sure if this is indeed the same gentleman bandit or a copycat bandit. And you need a hole in your head? Look, you need a hole in your head. You get it? He's struck again. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, I like that one over there. That's Isn't that a really great lawn? That is nice. That is nice. I do like Are that. Are there any kids at this Look at this one over here. Oh, wow. Very private. Mm -hmm. And it has beautiful trees out front. I like that. There we go. Why are we stopping here? Yeah. What do you think, Maria? <sighs> it's beautiful, but I mean, you know, it's out of my reach. It's a gift from Nick and myself. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> you can't do this. Consider it a present. Years of grief. Oh! <laughs> oh, this is great. Look, look, we have a house. Come on, sweetie. It's beautiful. Yeah. 
So what do you think? Shake your ladder. Guy can fall and break his fucking neck, huh? Nice spot here, Nick. Listen, I only got a minute. I gotta talk to my wife. Your ex-wife. Whatever. So what do you think, Nicky, huh? If you can't beat him, join, right? You know, if you say please, I'll get you a job. Oh, I'm sorry. They don't take convicted felons, do they? Scratch that idea, bro. Get out of here, Manny. I'm calling your supervisor right now. Oh, gee, with another hour in the shrink's office? Give me a break. You know, you look good. You know that? Join agrees with you. Really did. Nice haircut. Look sharp. Real sharp. Get to the point, Manny. You know, I got a question for you. Why are you out here? You run out of shit to steal in New York? I'm in a new line of work, if it's any of your business. It is my business. I'm in real estate now. Yeah? Really? So what are you in that fuck Harry? Picking old ladies out of the house now? Suits you. You know, why don't you let me know when you're gonna come next time? Maybe I could set something up for you. You know, shouldn't you be out protecting and serving? Oh, that's what I'm doing, Nikki. That's what I'm doing. Hey, you know, since you're such a big shot now, you know, I got a few ideas. Maybe I'll help you keep your money. See, the funny thing, Nikki, a guy pulls up to a street lamp. Minding his own business, and he gets his shit blown all over the passenger side. And there could be 90 people standing around, and nobody sees anything. What do you think about that? Have a nice day, officer. Oh, I will. Go write some tickets. You don't tell me the guy's some piece of shit cop. That part you left out. What, can I say something? Okay. There were the riots. They needed cops, Manny applied. I was shocked as anybody. And then he gets on this power trip and he starts drinking and he starts stealing. And then he starts doing drugs. What the hell is he doing coming over here? What is this? Is this his other house? Does this happen all the damn time? No, I mean, it's over between us, but you know, he comes- If it's over, then what the fuck is he doing over here? I want him out of here. What are you doing, kid? You know, you got the girl half crazy. Uh, you knew all about that guy, and you didn't say anything. I was protecting you. You know, everything's gonna be all right. I spent eight years thinking about what I wanted to do to him. <sighs> Look, you just gotta hang on. Keep your eyes open. You should know, man, he's gonna be gunning for you. Got my back? Since you arrived. Go to bed so I can go buy my scotch. All right. See you in the morning. I gotta tell you something. What about Manny? I know. What were you gonna do? You didn't have any choices to make. It's okay. You know, when we moved out to LA, he tried to make an honest living. He tried to be a good husband and a good father. You really tried hard to be a good person. But you have to understand, if it wasn't for him, I never would have went away. He set me up. I'm sorry. Come here, Wilson. I should have told you. Come here. It's OK. I'm 
missed you. I missed you too. thing Manny did to write. You know, Harry says you're smart, which I always knew. <laughs> and he says you have very good instincts. And he foresees quite a future. Look, I don't blame you for taking off, you know? I made some big mistakes and I paid for them. But the whole time I knew there was nothing like us. Nobody like you. What's she doing over there? She's playing. That's it. I'm gonna go get her. Okay. Be careful. Hey, Pops. What's happened? Why not do it for real, Harry, huh? You know, go legit. Clean it up. <laughs> you know, I'm glad you thought of that. We've got enough money. Buy a piece of property. Build it up. Sell it. Make an honest buck. Doesn't have to be a masquerade anymore, does it? You know, I, uh, I could hook us up with some friends in Arizona. And we can tell Marie we're gonna go down there and look at some hot property. Come on, let's get out of here, right, Pops? Let's do it. Scott says the hottest market right here. Right there we go. That's the one I was telling you about. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Yeah. I want a nice piece of property. Something for the little girl. Maybe she makes some friends, you know? They can play on it. Keep themselves safe. Good morning, guys. What's up, Nikki? Always a pleasure, huh? You guys planning a trip on me? Why, you want to go? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you guys don't mind, do you? Yeah, let me show you how to make a sandwich, huh? See, you gotta gut it. Gotta rip out all this shit, because it's nothing but starch. Starch ain't good for you. You know, old man? And the meat just lays just beautiful on that, doesn't it? What do you want, Manny? We got some gentlemen there? That's a pickle, eh? No, half my stomach. Do you know how much this would cost me in Beverly Hills? Nothing. Doesn't surprise me. Uh, eh, this gentleman Bennett, he thinks he's a real fucking celebrity. But we all know he's a scum-sucking motherfucker, don't we? He's probably got this old fart 15, 20 years out of the business. Maybe 25. Uh Who knows, right? teaching him every trick in the book. What do you think about my theory, old man? You know, you should be a detective. I think you're fucking absolutely right. Get out of this monkey suit. So what's it gonna take, Matty? A hundred large? Hmm. Look, do I see you guys pulling down more in a week than I make in a year? So I think I deserve a taste. What do you think? What's in it for us? get to keep the bitch and the kid. And I leave. There's no love lost. You see, the broads in this town, they only fuck guys with money. And the niggas, they use this badge as target practice. So I'm, I'm done. I'm out. I'm finished. You know, this is a one-time deal. I don't like you. Not even a little. <laughs> if I ever catch you around here again, I'll put you down myself. You're threatening me, old man. You just made it 200 large, plus a sandwich. Go take your sandwich. We'll get back to you. Make that soon, all right? Nice to see you, Nicky. Yeah, right, Bob. Creep. Well, looks like one last job. Look, I understand. I didn't mean for things to turn out this way. Don't bullshit me. Say you should have come my doorstep. I should have told you to keep on moving. Now it's starting all over again. 
You and Manny are just alike, except you're a lot more polished now, a little bit more smoother. I just want to give him what he wants, so I'll leave us alone. I just want you to be happy. How can that be? You're into God knows what. I'm not stupid, Nikki. Everything I do is about this family. Everything's straight up and down. For Allie, you, myself. Then what was Manny talking about? I heard what he said about you and Harry. It's bullshit. It's a shakedown. It's eating him up that I have something and he doesn't. You want me to go? I don't know what I want anymore. I'm sorry, Maria. I tried. I really did. Jane, yeah? You're not kidding. Cool. Look, you could do all this. You, uh... Hey. Hey, where you going? I don't know. You might need these. Sweetie, come here. I'm just going away for the night, all right? Okay. Be back tomorrow, okay? Listen, before we go to the park, we might get lost. But you know how to read a map? I don't know how to read. I think mommy knows how to read a map. <laughs> Nikki? What do you want from me, Manny? I'm sorry to disappoint you, you know? So why would you leave me in bed down with a thief? Because you know that's what he is. He's a thief. Please, I mean, Manny, do you just watch the home. news, huh? Or read the newspaper? What do you think? What do you think paid for this house, huh? They're robbing banks. Please. You remember how we used to fuck? You remember that? No. Nope. You used to scream, have to cover your mouth so the kid couldn't hear you, huh? Yeah, I'm really tired, babe. Really fucking tired. Uh, Not too tired for one last one. Now, come on, baby. Where? You want to cut me? Go ahead and cut me. Manny. Cut my fucking throat. Manny. Go ahead, because uh. I'm going to smack in the fucking... Okay, 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 okay. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, I would never okay. hurt you. Never hurt you. I mean, you just never, you never understood anything, you know? I mean, I loved you guys. Do you don't think I miss when Allie would come into her room and wake us up in the morning, put her in her bed for the, yeah, yeah. Then why did you do this? What did you throw me out for? Manny, let it go. No. Let it go. No. You've got to move on. Oh, okay. You've got to. Move on. Yes. I already have moved on. Please. I don't need you anymore. But I still love you. You know? And I still love the kid. You know, she's more my kid than his. I mean, I raised her, didn't I? Yeah. Then you can't take her away from me. You can't do that. You took it away from yourself. She'll always love me more than him. Have you told her yet? You know what it does to me when I see you with him? You don't think it hurts? I mean, you cut my fucking heart out, Maria. You've always known how I felt about Nikki. Let's go. Michael, I told you to wait in the fucking car. 
Manny, let's go now. Come on. Are you okay? Sure. I think I'm gonna go for the bank there on Cannon. Okay. You're hitting that stuff awful hard, aren't you? Don't start with me now. I'm just saying, you know. You know, this man, he's got me all screwy. He's even got me believing that we throw him some money, he'll go away. You know, but his kind always come back for more. What are we gonna do? You know, he'll just take it out of Maria and the kid. I can't let that happen. Well. You know, I could even do this one alone. I mean, it's Beverly Hills, a lot of traffic, a lot of people. You could get caught, or worse than that, he could rat on us. What's he gonna tell? I mean, all our money's legit. You took care of that, right? Right. Just in case, I'll tell Manny Westwood. And forget about doing this job alone. Take care of you and have this thing over. <laughs> Don't fuck with me, old man. Honey, it's just like the old days. It's a shakedown. You know what I mean? You disappear. That's the deal. Yeah. And for once in your life, you keep your end up. Look at me, Harry. This deal goes bad. I'm a busted captain in everybody's ass. You know what I mean by everybody? Everybody. You'd hurt your own daughter. <laughs> she ain't my kid. Oh, you don't know? That's Nikki's kid. I got no love here, bro. Hey, fuck this. I just want to know where it is, Harry. Where's it going down? And I swear to God, you lie to me. I'll drown your sorry ass in the pool right now. Glendale Fett, Westwood Boulevard. Good point. Hey, good boy. I was in the neighborhood. Are you gonna rob me? Why not? You ready? And this time, press the button. What? Yeah. Hit the button. Go right ahead. Let's go. The same, uh, the same way? No, nah, this time I need 200 grand. Take a hundred grand for yourself, just like before. It's okay, but this time, tell him it was a uniform cop that got you, okay? Happy holidays. Well, now, first professional bank, located right away in Rodeo Drive in Beverly Hills. Suspect is a male white, warning police uniform. 211 in progress, Wilshire and Doheny. Suspect wearing a police officer's uniform. Approach with caution. We have the suspect southbound of Rodeo Drive. Seconds. Driving a 50 unit back up. 
seconds or less. Attention LA units, Co3 response, 211 now, first professional bank, located Brighton Way and Rodeo Drive from Beverly Hills. Suspect is a male white wearing a police uniform, carrying a briefcase, he is medium built. Suspect was last seen southbound on Rodeo Drive and out of view. Units to respond, 30 seconds or less identified. Where do you think you're going, you fuck? Huh? Oh, you suppressed seat. Go ahead, go ahead. I'll blow your fucking brains all over that pretty little suit of yours. Now give me the fucking bag. Nothing changes, does it, huh? Nobody changes, Nikki. You know that. Now give me the fucking bag. You prick. Am I a prick? Let me ask you something. How many times did you take it up the ass in the joint, huh? A lot. <laughs> you look really stupid, you know that? The suspect is seen at Via Rodeo Drive. This is a guy dressed in a cop uniform. He's got a gun. On the Los Angeles on the de Beverly Hills. Ça a été connu qu'il était un policier The gentleman de bandit was shot and killed late last night in Beverly Hills. Santa Hill. Monica Boulevard late last night. Another suspect this was is apprehended at the scene whose role in the robberies has yet to be determined. So we bid farewell to Harry today, known by his friends as a gentleman's gentleman. He was a good, decent man who is now joining his wife, Shirley, in the hereafter. May we keep him in our prayers. Old friends never truly die. Shalom. Can I talk to Daddy? Come here. 
Come here, sweetie. I love you. I love you too, sweetie. And I want you to go, Daddy. I have to go, sweetie. I'll be home soon. When I come home, we'll have us a real family. Just the three of us. You're just going away on a business trip? That's right. Just, just for a little while. You know, I'm gonna be a cowgirl. I know. Regular Wrangler Jane, right? everything up. I love you, Maria. I love you. I'll be waiting, okay?
that you meet doesn't know the real surprise. Here she is. 